vision for the new ministry if confirmed. But start with your key achievements as governor, thank you. Um, thank you very much for that question. Unfortunately, um, uh, cooperatives are not well developed in Kakamega County. We had few uh, coffee cooperative and I think dairy cooperatives uh, cooperative and then we had fish cooperative uh, and the coffee cooperative was not doing well in fact it had uh, it had collapsed and when I came in as a governor I found only one staff who was working uh, uh, who was then working under the Ministry of Agriculture, only one staff who was in charge of cooperative. So obviously cooperative being a very important vehicle for economic development, I had to beef up uh, that particular unit. I assigned two people to that, uh, to the staff, and made, the, uh, made him director of cooperatives at that time. And then there, from there, I made a provision in the budget, a location, in order to revive cooperatives in the county. And that time I, make a, I made a provision of 20 million so that I could support the three cooperatives that were there. And after a short time, because I found cooperatives were very important, I, uh, I, I made that particular unit to be separate under a chief officer so that we had a proper uh, focus to it. And as I left, there was actually a chief officer uh, who was in charge of cooperatives. But uh, uh, I, my people have not, had not embraced cooperatives. Uh, we could support them then because of uh, poor management, resources could be misused. So that is the problem that I encountered when in Kakamega County. Thank you. Majority Leader. <coughs> Thank you, Honorable Speaker. CS nominee, Honorable Weekly for Paranya. As part of the vetting process, we do write to ESCC, and when the clerk wrote to ESCC on your suitability, amongst others who had been nominated to serve as cabinet secretaries, ESCC had a reservation on your nomination as, as uh, a cabinet secretary. And they said they had conducted investigations on allegations of corruption against you when you served as a governor of Kakamega County on uh, also conflicts of interest, abuse of office and money laundering. And they did recommend to the DPP that you be prosecuted for those offenses. They also avow that you went ahead and obtained conservator orders from a Kakamega Constitution and Human Rights Court in Petition E019 of 2023, and that matter is still pending in courts. But they were able to get conservatory uh, preser preservation orders against uh, your assets, specifically some 28 million shillings, I believe which was in some bank account. And uh, CS nominee, now you are here before us, I would want to, you to shed more light on these allegations of corruption, abuse of office, conflicts of interest, and money laundering, because you will agree those are very serious and grave allegations against your person for the time you served as a governor Kakamega County, and now you are being given a bigger job, not uh, in a county, but in the nation. A job that will entail you overseeing not just the cooperative sector, but also the micro, small, medium enterprises development in the country. And this is a position that calls for you to be of impeccable integrity, 
is a job that will require you to give Kenyans confidence that they can trust you with their cooperatives money. I heard you say in Kakamega the cooperative movement is not very strong, mm -hmm. but you know the cooperative movement in this country is among the richest and most developed in sub-Saharan Africa. Therefore, these are sector that requires a man of impeccable integrity and someone that Kenyans and cooperators in this country can trust that their money is safe with them. Will cooperators' money be safe in your hands? Thank you very much. The cooperators' money will be very safe in my hands, Mr. Chungwa. You answer this, uh, nominee. But next time you wait for me to motion because sometimes okay. we'll take about three questions in a row. Oh, okay. But you answer this before.